hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of engineering thermodynamics and so far we have discussed uh, uh, various concepts related to you know the basic introductory things related to uh, engineering thermodynamics and also about uh, thermodynamic process cycle and uh, state of a system and all of that so in this video we are going to discuss about the different types of thermodynamic process uh, in relation to things which we have covered so in the previous uh, video we discussed about thermodynamic process so when we discuss about thermodynamic process the important thing which comes into play is thermodynamic properties so the thermodynamic properties as we have already discussed they describe the characteristic features of a system they define the physical conditions of the system and the important thermodynamic properties which come into play in any discussion uh, are pressure temperature and volume and the different types of thermodynamic process are also defined in terms of these three parameters pressure temperature volume which we are going to cover today so the thermodynamic properties they we can we can think of them as uh, the coordinates like we have the x and y points in the coordinate axis which we use to locate a point uh, on the uh, coordinate axis similar to that we can think of the thermodynamic properties as coordinates to define the state of a system in terms of these properties so the thermodynamic properties there are of two types intensive properties and extensive properties we, we have already discussed about intensive and extensive properties so I'm not going into uh, that again because in the previous video we discussed in detail about intensive and extensive properties uh, which uh, are dependent on the extent of the system mass dependent mass independent and all that next is the state of a system so the state of a system is defined by the properties the thermodynamic properties so when the properties pressure temperature volume or any other property which we are considering we are measuring when they attain fixed values they have definite values and they do not change with time then the system is said to be existing in a particular state a definite state so the state of a system in terms of defined in terms of the properties we can think of them as the state variables okay the thermodynamic properties so when or any operation which causes a change in these properties one or more properties of the system that results in a change of the state of the system and that change of state of the system from initial state whatever initial state it was to a final state again it reaches a particular fixed value that change in state from initial to final state is called as a thermodynamic process any operation which causes a change in the thermodynamic properties one or more than one from a initial state an initial state to final state that is called as a thermodynamic process and the succession of uh, states passed through by the system that is called as the path of change of state of the system and this is called as a thermodynamic process the change of state the path of the change of state when we define it when we specify it that change of state of a system from an initial state to final state is called as a thermodynamic process okay so here we can say this is a thermodynamic process here defined in terms of two variables pressure and volume at constant temperature t 
initial state of the system defined in terms of pressure and volume or PA and VA initial pressure and initial volume then succession of states is, uh, is uh, an operation causes and it reaches a final state B defined by pressure and volume PV and VV respectively so this is the change of state of the system and the curve AB is the path of the change of st state of the system so this is a thermodynamic process now thermodynamic cycle is uh, a series of state changes such that the final state is the same as the initial state okay so here same pressure volume two parameters initial state one final state not final state and intermediate state two p1 v1 p2 v2 are the pressure and volumes at the two states respectively but here the initial state 1 and the final state they are the same the system again reaches its initial state 1 okay it reaches the same point where from where it started okay the path taken by the system is this from 1 to 2 and again from 2 to 1 back now the different types of thermodynamic process so thermodynamic process as I said they can be defined in terms of pressure temperature volume so we can define a thermodynamic place, uh, process as one in which either of the properties is kept constant when temperature is kept constant pressure and volume is variable when volume is kept constant pressure and temperature is variable when pressure is kept constant temperature and volume are changed so there are three types of thermodynamic process in terms of pressure temperature volume there are other processes also we can classify them but in terms of pressure temperature and volume there are three types of thermodynamic process first is isothermal process so an isothermal process is one in which temperature remains constant so here this process which we just uh, uh, studied at constant temperature T this is an isothermal process okay it is an isothermal process so iso and thermal iso means constant thermal means temperature we know so in this process the temperature remains constant okay so if we use the gas equation formula PV is equal to nRT we can derive the exact expression for that and draw the graphs but for now you just uh, understand that uh, this is the shape of the curve for an isothermal process okay so the temperature exchange the heat the transfer of heat in and out of the system is it takes place in such a way that the thermal equilibrium is maintained next one is in which the pressure is kept constant that is the isobaric process so an isobaric process is one in which pressure remains constant so here again iso means constant and baric means pressure okay so an isobaric process is one in which pressure remains constant so pressure remains constant when volume either increases or decreases so here this is the you know the curve or the the graph plot for a isobaric process again pressure and volume are the two parameters that we are using to draw the graph and here the initial state a final state b so when there is a change in the state from a to b you can see that the pressure is remaining constant at one value okay a straight line parallel to the volume axis so pressure is remaining constant but volume is changing here volume is this much VA let's say and here it is VB okay so volume is increasing changing but pressure is constant so temperature constant pressure constant next is volume constant so that is called as a isochoric process so an isochoric process is one in which volume remains constant so iso means constant again choric means space or volume so isochoric process is one in which volume is constant so again pressure and volume are the two 
parameters here it is a straight line parallel to the y axis so here you can see volume is remaining constant but pressure is increasing from initial state a to final state b pressure is increasing let's say here it is pa here it is pb so pressure is changing volume is remaining constant okay so these are the three types of processes defined in terms of pressure temperature and volume temperature remaining constant isothermal process pressure remaining constant isobaric process and volume remaining constant isochoric process okay so here are the different types of process defined in terms of pressure volume and temperature so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much